I started computer programming in the late 90s when I was at secondary school, or high school if you want to call it that. So a few of us did it as an after school activity, although I have to say the teacher there wasn't particularly clued up on programming. He sort of barely knew enough to get by. This was early days of IT at schools. How things have probably changed now, but uh, yes, fairly limited back then, so I learned QBasic and sort of took an enjoyment to computer programming. So this is some of the early programs that I wrote. You can download them. Feel free to take a look at uh, how I wrote programs back then. So I even wrote a couple of games. Then I moved on to C++ and then, well, C++ Builder. Wrote a couple of more complex games. I'm going to try and take a look at that in this video. So I've given you links to download all the executables and source code here. I make no promises to whether this will work on modern machines because I've had a lot of trouble getting them going here. I kind of wanted to do this video a little while back when they still sort of ran, but as operating systems have progressed forward, it's become harder and harder. If anyone can get them going again and can recompile them, yeah. feel free. It's entirely up to you what you want to do with them. Circumstances conspired against me and ended up down a career path that didn't involve me doing any programming at all. So it wasn't until recently, when I started working on NoTrack, that I actually kind of got back into it. No track is written using Bash, Java, and PHP. I never officially learned Java or PHP, but I did C++, and kind of that forms a massive basis to both Java and PHP. The thing with programming languages is once you've learned one, subsequent ones are a lot easier. I wanted to start with what is perhaps my greatest achievement in terms of programming, City Builder. A clone of SimCity 2000. Unfortunately, this is the worst running game of them all. It just will not run on any system I've tried. Windows XP is about the best. Unfortunately, this happens. It's got a buffer overflow. What I've found is if you try and pause the game, which is Alt and F1, you've got half a chance of running, he says, as it subsequently does that. I got the idea the first time you are out of memory, which you're quite clearly not out of memory. So I'm going to try and scroll on the map. Uh, this really does not work very well, so what I have to do is quickly pause and unpause it and move the scroll bar around. But you can get the idea that there are buildings, large buildings, oh, very large building there. Antigrav software being the the company name that I went by. Apologies for the inappropriate use of the building there, but this game was written in 1999 to 2000. Uh, the 9-11 attacks had not happened at that point. I believe that's a microwave power plant, water pumping station, so you've got railway, road, industrial units. So you've got the perspective look, literally just how SimCity 2000 was. Uh, that was quite a challenge to work out how they did that. Um, I managed it though. The map could have been a bit bigger though. I uh, don't think we're going to get around this whole map though, because it's just going to keep crashing. I'm waiting for the next crash, it is imminent. Despite it being quite a large game, there's very little animation in it. A little smokestack animation there. Unpause it, as you can see. Uh, unpaused it for too long, we've run out of memory apparently. I think the graphics have just gone entirely. I think you just see a bit of the variety of the buildings. Ah, lack of sewage on that building. See, I thought of doing sewage long before SimCity had. Was it SimCity 4, SimCity 5 that they finally thought of doing it? Hmm. I was ahead of them a bit. I wonder if that's what's causing a buffer overflow. I don't know. You can see we have a capital status city, 88,000 people, apparently. That's some of the items we can build. Looking at some of the items we can build. Ooh, a few little gifts. Residential. Commercial, that's clear. There you are. If you hold down the shift key, build the zoning over a large distance. Ooh, roads. Railway, seaport, airport, church, cathedral, some fun things. Please fire hospital. 
a few different power plants. I think they were scheduled on different times as when the power plants appeared. I was like water pump, sewage treatment, education, query. that's the query tool, and emergency services. Okay. Does it say okay? And there was a console like Quake had. My next game was going to be City Builder set in the future, in the year 2200. I was going to do a different perspective on the view, so this was going to be more like SimCity 1, where you just got a square view with the buildings sort of rising up like that. Um, I did start drawing some of the buildings. You can see they're really high-rise buildings. That's a massive number of floors there. Thinking that in future we'd be all crammed up into a small square space and living in high-rise buildings. How glamorous that seemed. Yet, later on in my life, I just want to live in a detached house away from everyone else. That game never came to be. There's another game I wrote, it was called Snake. Hmm. I guess where I got the inspiration for this. Well, <laughs> small clue, the Nokia 3310 was out by then, and I had one. I quite like playing out on the mobile. It's not a bad game this one. I actually made it to be very responsive. Got the little bonus pellets there if you can reach them in time. The only problem with it, there's no game over screen. So when you die, um, you don't go anywhere like this. The game just stops dead. So I added some mazes to the game. So let's choose one here. And you can choose the difficulty on the speed. So, whoa, okay, that's uh, challenging. So if you hit one of the brick walls, uh, that's it, game over, like that. As you can see, this game works in Windows 7. So it works with the newer versions of Windows. It doesn't work in Wine, though. Hmm. That's a shame. Oh, look at that. See, responsiveness. Cool. Oh, escape works. <laughs> that's how you get back to the main menu, then. I think after a while I'd had enough of games. There eh, quite a lot of work to make. I decided to do something different. I created this program here called File Viewer. It's an alternative to Windows Explorer, but it comes with some viewers. So we could view the file as a text file. Nope, no changes made. We could view it as a binary file. Uh, this views it in DOS prompt, but I'm running it in Wine, so DOS prompt doesn't exist here. And we can use an image viewer as well. No images here. What have we got? Let's try this. Let's open up this image here in the image viewer. Yep, that's worked. So it's quite a handy little program, and you can do all the other things as well, like cut, copy, and paste to files. Delete them, or send them to recycle bin. Rename. Let's look at that. Rename. Yep, there you go. Okay, don't know what that error is about. No, I was hoping to view the video, not. <laughs> okay. I think in the end it was one of my most well used programs. See, I didn't really play my games particularly much because I knew how they worked, and like particularly with City Builder, it's based on certain conditions, and if you know what conditions to make, then you'll get the largest buildings possible. Kind of a bit easy. I certainly found that quite useful, and you know, back in the day it was a quick viewer. In Windows 98 and ME, that would outpace Windows Explorer. Not until Windows XP, when it gained the ability to cache, was file viewer beaten. Now we go right back to the beginning of my programming days, with QBasic. So this will run in DOSBox and also command prompt within Windows. I think this is one of the first games I wrote, Stone, Scissors and Paper. How many games do I want to play? Uh, two. So what should we have? Stone? Stone, Blunt, Scissors, you win. Hey. So I'm playing against computer and it's just purely a random number. Paper hits paper, it's a draw. Mm. One, one, drew one. Very nice. I'm not exactly sure which came next. Might be this one, noughts and crosses. So noughts and crosses. Let's go for one. Uh. 
Uh, it's crude intelligence within the computer. Oh, I don't feel we're going to get a winner, are we? Oh, I better go for that to stop them. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Gold hunt. This must be getting more advanced here because I've got a title screen. Ooh, by me. Type your name. Quids, because I wasn't called quids back then. So it's guess the square where the treasure's buried. Higher than 50, 70, 60, 55. And what should we go for? 52. Oh, that's obvious then, isn't it? 51. <laughs> Six turns. Let's try again. Oh. 40. 10, 15, three, oh, even quicker. Excellent. No, I'm not playing again. So then I started to get a bit more complex with the games I was creating. Now this was probably, now this was probably one of the first complex games I created. We can see developed 15th of March, 1998. So let's start a new game. So it's just a 2D shooter. So the enemies come in at the side and you've got to shoot them before they hit the bottom of the screen. It's keyboard controlled and not very good at that. <laughs> it's kind of lagging here in VirtualBox. Oh, a one. All right, let's move. There you see, I'm not even touching the keyboard. <laughs> This game relied on passwords, so you had to write the password down. That's not too bad a password, is it? Anyway. Then I wrote a second version of the game. It doesn't say when I wrote it here. That's a real shame. Well, Space Fighter 2, or an animated title screen here. And it's got random colour backgrounds. I'll just show you what I mean here. I'll just exit. So you can see we have a different colour background. Oh, yin and yang. So you can choose between different difficulties. Turn the sound on and off. Load a different game. That was a bit of an improvement. So let's go wave 19. Oh, bloody hell, that's quick. Unfortunately, it's not animating very well in DOSBox. I tried it in Windows. It's slightly better. So none of the enemies are shooting at this point. Uh, we do have special weapons on the left hand side. That's a bomb, number two. Nothing happening? I think I just killed it. <laughs> okay. Let's try a different level. They shoot back on this level. Okay. Didn't do well there. <laughs> Bit of a glitch there. You can see how much my energy has gone down at the top. Yeah, that's quite bad. Oh. <laughs> and game over. Please enter your name. No. Hall of Fame. Ooh. Presumably 1998 as well I wrote this. Okay. There is a bit of a cheat here. You got the option to have a shield. Now they can't get me. The other special weapons you have, so it's half speed. And number four is fire. <laughs> so it increases your weapon to stupid proportions. Yeah, that's not really rendering at all well, is it? Although it's a bit more complex this game, it's uh, boring. 